Hey guys, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I wanted to update you guys on my reading for today, and I will show you a little clip from earlier I shot, but I didn't actually film an intro, so I wanted to do that for you guys, but I wanted to go over, it's about half, well, probably a little over halfway through the day. Yeah, it's like 6 o'clock. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of adulting today, so I've done a lot of, like, cleaning the house and things like that, so I've been listening to a lot of audiobook. I have finished... The Son of Neptune, which if you guys saw in my last one, I was like, I've done about a hundred so pages-ish, I think, today. <laughs> so, uh, I, fin I finished this one, I rated it a 3.5 out of 5 stars for me. I just wasn't a fan, I don't think I'm a fan of Percy Jackson, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but I really enjoy Jason and Leo and Piper a lot better, <laughs> so... I'm hoping that it maybe will go to that in the uh, Mark of Athena because I have heard that the Mark of Athena is potentially like the best one in this series. So I finished this one. So I have actually decided to pick up for my next audiobook City of Ashes because I was so like middle of the road with that Rick Riordan book that I wanted something new. So I'm, I've started City of Ashes and I'm already liking this a lot better. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and put in my hold for this third one because by the time that I finish this one I should be able to then read it for City of Glass. So the third one is City of Glass so I'll put it in hold for that one. But I'm in the middle of listening to this one right now. We are also still listening to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I don't know actually where we're at. Let's... So we've listened to about 20 pages in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. We listened to a chapter today so we are like literally just started this. So I, I'm in the middle of listening to this one with Trevor. So whenever we're together, we like to listen to this. And then for a physical reading, I am finally making some headway in The Raven Boys, and I'm actually really enjoying it, which you will see a clip coming up after this of me reading it. And I got through, I think about 40 pages or so of reading through this one. So I'm really enjoying this one, and I am going to end the night with reading more of these. I don't know if I'm gonna film another clip for you guys for today, but I wanted to do at least a little update of where I am today and then segue on to the clip that I shot this morning that I didn't talk in because Trevor was still sleeping and I didn't want to wake him up. So I definitely am planning on reading a little more of this tonight and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. November 9th and I wanted to do a quick update for you because I literally have been working all day and then I came home and finished up my book. So it is 11.30 <laughs> and I have finished Raven Boys. The ending was so good and it definitely makes me want to pick up the second one. I did have some problems with it and it did have like a slow start to it. It didn't have like anything pulling me back to it so I think I'm only going to rate this a 4 to 5 stars, I think, but like I said, I just finished it. So that's what I'm going with now that I rated 4 to 5 stars. Also, I have listened to 30 pages in Harry Potter. We listened to this today while I was getting ready for work because that's the only time that I saw Trevor today. <laughs> so listen to 30 pages. I forgot how much I love this book and it just makes my heart so happy and I like this is the best one. Like. Ugh. Next I have, I'm on page 84 in a City of Ashes, so I'm 84 pages into this one and I'm really enjoying this one. However, the whole, without doing spoilers, I'm not going to spoil you guys, but 
Clary and Simon's total encompassing relationship between each other is very irritating. Like, Clary bugs the crap out of me. Like, and this isn't really a spoiler because the the moment you pick up City of Bones, you can tell that Simon has a thing for Clary. When the moment suits her, Clary will favor uh, Simon, and then when it doesn't, she's like she like brushes him off, and it bothers me that she just like pretty much uses Simon and like ah. So she bothers me, and I really like Simon, and I like like listening to him. So I'm really annoyed with that. Also, the the trope that ended the last one, I'm still dealing with that one. So. I'm a little annoyed, but I really enjoy the rest of the story, so at least there's that to save me with this. So I'm listening to this one, and then with my physical read now, I am planning on picking up Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. Maggie Steve Otter is the same one who wrote um, The Raven Boys, so I'm planning on picking this one up for kind of like a work thing. I want to read this to know what this book is about so I can talk about it at work. So I uh, picked up this one, and I'll pop a picture up here for you guys so you guys know what it looks like. I, I don't have the dust jacket because I am borrowing this one, so I'm going to be putting a book sleeve on it. If you guys have ever seen one of these, I highly recommend picking them up. They're, it's called a book sleeve, so you just pop the book inside there, like you take the dust jacket off, and then you pop it over the, the hardcover book so it protects your book. It's fantastic. This is like such a good buy that I found at Barnes & Noble, so I love this. Plus then you always have a ribbon bookmark, and I love ribbon bookmarks. So that is the plan. I am going to start Crooked, All the Crooked Saints tonight, and I will let you guys know tomorrow what I think of it and kind of what it's about, because right now all I remember vaguely is that it's about miracles and what it takes to get a miracle and who, like, if they really want the miracle, if they want to, like, be able to sacrifice what they need to sacrifice to get the said miracle. So let's we'll, we'll see how that one turns out. Hopefully that one is easier to get into and it won't take me as long to get into that one because I only have it for like five more days. So I got a power read that one through. So that's the plan to make sure that I get that one done and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick update on my phone and see how this works. I am not having a very good reading night, so I wanted to just do a quick update. I've read about 20 pages in uh, Maggie Steve Otter's new book, All the Crooked Saints, and I'm not quite sure how I like it so far. I will update you guys more once I know more, and then I've listened to a few chapters in City of Ashes, so... That is what's going on. I think I'm on chapter 9 now, so I will leave a tally down below here letting you know how much I read for today. And I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You were smelling the camera before. <laughs> this is Watson. <laughs> So I wanted to give you guys a little update. I am in bed reading right now and I just can't decide if I want to give this book a shot. So so I'm in bed and I don't know if you guys have watched my other video or I think I probably have talked about this in another clip as well, but I just started reading All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter and this book I'm not loving. Granted. I didn't love Raven Boys when I was first starting writing it, or when I first started reading it. Granted, I didn't dislike it, and this I'm just, I'm really not crazy about, and I'm only on page 30. So my question to you guys is, is how far in do you read a book before you decide that it's not for you and DNF it? Or do you guys push through and make yourself read the book even though you aren't loving it? So where where is that cutoff? So... I'm literally trying to read it and I'm falling asleep because I just don't the care. <laughs> and it's like 10 o'clock here, so it's not like it's super late. And I'm like a super night owl. Like, some nights me and Trevor will stay up till like 4 a.m. and not realize it's 4 a.m. And I'm like, wow, no wonder I'm starting to get tired. It's 4 a.m. So, I just, I don't know how I feel. 
and I don't know, like, I've got so many other books that I'm, like, anticipating reading that I'm, like, but I don't want to read this, so I don't know if I'm going to continue on with this or not. I have The Night Circus, which I plan on picking up next week, and I also have, oh, it's uh, Homo Sapiens, Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. I've got that one, too that I'm planning on reading this month, and I'm just like kind of antsy, I feel like I'm, a, I'm running out of time to read, so that's where this situation is at right now. I am have been listening to quite a bit of my audiobook for uh, City of Ashes, I've listened to about 50 pages, you can see my two bookmarks in there, <laughs> so I always mark... Um, where last time I updated you guys at, so I can tell you how many pages I've read, and then where I am actually at, because I like to follow along as I'm listening to the audiobook. So I'm really enjoying that, and I'm excited for that. I also really need to pick up my audiobook for Mark of Athena, because that's going to expire in five days, and there's like seven people on hold for it, so it's not like I can put myself back on hold and get it anytime soon, so that's kind of a problem too. Reader Dilemmas. Our life is so rough. So I think I'm going to try to at least get to 50 pages in this book. Maybe 100, so that way I'll be reading like a third of it. And then decide if I'm going to continue on with it. So I will let you guys know, once I read those, reach those thresholds, what I decide to do about this book. Okay guys, little update. I'm now on page 75 of The Crooked Saints. And this book is weird. Like, very interesting writing. I'm gonna read you a little part of it just so you guys know what the heck I'm talking about, how weird this is. George Wyatt had, had been supposed to die in the womb as his umbilical cord had been wrapped around his neck, but he decided the death was not for him and he chewed himself free. He'd been born two weeks early, his baby hand still clutching the ragged stump of his umbilical cord, his baby mouth already full of teeth. He'd been the weakest of eight siblings, but he began lifting weights as a toddler, and by the time he was 15, he could lift all of his siblings at once. It just, just, it's all, it's just been like that this entire time, and it's been weird, and I don't really know if I like it. I'm already on page 75, and I'm still considering DNFing it, and I don't DNF books lightly. I'm gonna see maybe if I can get to 25 more pages tomorrow and if I still don't like it after 100 pages in I think I'm gonna DNF it because life's too short to read books that you don't really care about and I I'm 75 pages in and I really don't care about any of the characters either and she finally started describing the characters better instead of just plainly saying them. I don't know if I talked to you guys about that, but in her other books, she's very descriptive, and in this book, she, like, very plainly says, like, this is her biggest fear, and this is her biggest want, and stuff. So it's very different style than her normal writing, and I just, I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna try to get to 100 pages, see what I think there, but I don't think we're gonna be continuing on with this one. And in that case, I'm gonna be focusing on finishing City of Ashes, so I can start my second audiobook, which is Mark of Athena, and I will probably pick up Simon vs. the Humble Sapiens. So that is my game plan for right now. I haven't read any more in City of Ashes, so let's do about 50 pages in City of Ashes. So I'm on chapter 12, and I'm enjoying this one at least. So that is what's going on, and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I thought I would update you. So I am actually in my car right now, as you can probably tell, but I am not, I've been working from 9 a.m. to 5.30 and then I just stayed in town because I work from eight to 10 at my other job. So I didn't really have a chance to go home, so I've just been reading inside, like on my breaks and stuff. And it's raining, you can see the rain and I'm like loving it. So I, uh decided to give up on the all the crooked saints i got to 100 pages in and i just still was not feeling it the the, the storyline was weird it didn't have a lot of meat in it anyways and like the stuff that it did have was just so like out there that it was just was not for me so i decided to give up on it and i think when i get home i'm going to start um simon versus the homo sapiens so i'm pretty excited about that because i think that one is going to be a fun contemporary and then next week hopefully i'll be able to finish uh simon versus the homo, sap homo sapiens 
uh, within the next few days. So then next reading vlog, I can start the night circus and I'm so excited. So that is what is coming up and I will maybe check with check in with you tonight, definitely tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick update for you guys before I head to bed. And just a little wrap up, as you guys have probably seen in the last clip, that I decided to DNF all the Crooked State Saints by Maggie Steve Otter, which means right now all I have is I am decided to just finish up my audiobook to focus on that because my Mark of Athena book, which I haven't even started, is going to expire in four days. So that means I need to finish the City of Ashes book before then so I can finish this one and then start that one and finish it before it expires. So I'm kind of um, like a race to the finish type of thing. <laughs> so I have listened to 100 pages of City of Ashes today and that means I only have about 100 pages left. So I think that I should be able to finish this if not tomorrow, definitely on the next day. And then I'll be able to start uh... <laughs> Sorry, my Sherlock is like on his back just listening to me. Um, which means that I'm going to start Mark of Athena as like, soon as I possibly can and then hopefully I'll be able to finish that in time before it expires. So that is the game plan and we are almost at the end of our week because I'm going to end this one on the 14th, which is on Tuesday. So hopefully by the time the end of this vlog is over, I will have finished City of Ash Ashes, which will be very exciting. So at least I will have two books, not completely read, but finished in this vlog. So that will be very good for my reading. And yeah, I am going to go pass out now because I'm exhausted and I've had kind of a long day. So. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Together, so you can come in. Trevor's here. We are about to go do some shopping. Like we're gonna do some pre-Christmas shopping because if you work at all in retail, you know that you cannot one stand people around Black Friday in your own time, or two, like you just don't want to fight the crowds. And after spending all day dealing with the crowds, you're like, nope. So I'm going to try to get as much Christmas shopping done as I possibly can before Black Friday hits because it's coming up rapidly fast. And yeah, so we're going to get that done today and I'm going to be focusing on a lot of my audiobook. I want to finish my City of Ashes because I am almost done and like I said, my Mark of Athena book is about to expire. So I need to hurry up and finish this one so I can hurry up and finish that one before it expires in four days. So I know. <laughs> A little look, ambitious, aren't we? Look at him doubting me. <laughs> Anyways, we uh, were playing our game, and you guys will have seen that clip already, but I wanted to show you guys how much I've read. So we did about 100 pages 
last night, so we're on chapter 11, and so we got that done. We didn't get very much reading done last night. We had a lot of adulting things to do, such as grocery shopping and, yep, yeah, boring stuff. So, today will be a lot more fun because we've got our, well, I'll be redoing my, my audiobook. His Brandon Sanderson book comes out today, <laughs> so he'll be reading in the car while I'll, I drive and listen to my audiobook. And we're gonna get some shopping done, so... But, by the way, it's been available to buy for a half an hour now, <laughs> and we still haven't left. Ridiculous. Granted, I'm the exact same way, so this is what you do with readers. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to get out of here. I'm gonna get some coffee in me so I can deal with you today. <laughs> and then... You might want to get a large. <laughs> Or a, a grande. Venti? Venti's the big one. Yeah. I'm <laughs> And we are going to see you guys in a little bit because I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging today because I don't really know how much actual filming I'm going to get done here. So you guys are going to come along with us. So we will see you guys then. Hey guys. So I thought... Let me put my keys down so... You guys won't hear rattling here. I thought I would do a little haul for you guys because I just uh, stopped at Trevor's work because he had to do a few things before we run off. And I wanted to show you guys what I got at Target. So we originally went in there looking for the Harry Potter Advent sock calendar and online it said it had it and we checked last night at a different Target and they said that they uh, had run out and now this one had run out. So. We're actually driving to Portland today, so we're going to be, like, we've got quite a ways, so if we see any targets along the way, we're going to stop and see if they have them, because I really want them, but they've been really elusive, and you can't actually order them online, and people are, of course, like, selling them for double online, so I'm a little annoyed with that. Anyways, that was the goal, but it was kind of a fail because we couldn't find any, so I did, however, find a few things, so... While we were looking, like you guys, well you guys can't see because I'm filming on my phone right now, but we, I have a pop socket and I have it customized, so I have my actual, my header, so it says the Rainy Reader on it, which I love, but we saw these in there and we could not, crap, I hope that that's, <laughs> we, we checked out with, um, like self-checkout, I hope that that's not gonna, well I guess we can just like cut around it. Anyway, so we found these awesome pop sockets that whenever we like switch them out we're gonna put these in our stockings because we buy stuff for each other while we're in front of each other because when you're a husband and wife it's a little hard to hide things from so trevor is actually ravenclaw so that one is going to be for his stocking and then i am a hufflepuff so that one is mine and these are like new we've never seen these before and i love these so so much so we picked up some of these then i also picked up i had a bit of an identity crisis in there so if you guys didn't know i've taken the pottermore quiz several times and I, I always feel that I am a Hufflepuff. Like, I feel that, that I am a Hufflepuff. However, when I, like, randomly take Pottermore quizzes because I'll, like, have other people take it so then I have to, like, erase my house and I'll have to retake it, I will, uh, like, probably, like, 50% of the time I get sorted into Gryffindor, which I do not understand. I feel that I am a Hufflepuff first and foremost, and then the other house that I relate to is Ravenclaw, so I always say that I'm a Ravenpuff. Yeah. Uh, so that's my, like, my identity that I, I choose, but I think Hufflepuff. But Pottermore likes to start me into Gryffindor, and I do not think that's true at all. However, I think also Neville is... A Hufflepuff too and I think that uh he should not be in Gryffindor granted he finally shows his like Gryffindor side like later in the movies but I think he would have done just fine in Hufflepuff so I'm getting segued here I saw this and it's super soft and there's only one house and of course it's Gryffindor being represented but it's so cute and it's super soft and I like I was like it's such a cute design that I thought it was too cute not to get, and even though I'm a Hufflepuff, and I feel like an imposter wearing this, I thought it was too cute not to get, so. I really, really like this. The design is just simple. I wish it was in Hufflepuff, but whatever. I just thought, like, this will be what Pottermore actually thinks that I am, and I think it's so cute, so. I had to get this one. Lastly, I had to pick up this one because, one, I need something to wear to the premiere, because I actually don't have a Star Wars shirt. 
and this one's really cute and it's super soft inside too and it's like just like clean I don't like a ton of stuff all over my shirt I say that now but I've got a giant crust on here but I like the colors because it's simple so this is oh can you guys even see this is a Star Wars shirt and I got this in small because I wanted like a little little bit bigger but I thought this was just cute and basic and easy to wear but it's not in your face so I really like this one so we had to get this one too but that is all I am just waiting now on Trevor and we have coffee so all is right in the world here and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit hey guys I thought I would do an update oh we just got to our destination and Trevor is reading his Brandon Sanderson book that he is very happy about. <laughs> and I just finished uh, City of Ashes, so that's good news because that means I can start at Mark of Athena and I can hopefully get it done because I'm now at three days to finish this book. But it's only 15 hours long, so I figure if I'm not, I'm listening to it faster than normal speed, so I can get that done in three days, right? We'll find out. <laughs> So, his his faith is lacking in me, guys. Isn't that great? But I have tomorrow off, too. So, I mean, that's... It's, Just don't sleep. You'll be fine. It's doable. But uh, I like the whole Mortal Instruments series a lot more than I did the first time around. And... I'm ready for this story to progress because I just really hate the forbidden love trope that's in this and I'm just so ready for it to be done. So I feel like it's about to pick up because of the way that this book ended in the epilogue. So I'm hoping that uh, I can fly through Mark of Athena and then I will pick up the, sec or the third book in City of Bones trilogy and I can... Get, finally like finish this Mortal Instruments series because I have all the books so we're about to go shopping and get work clothes which is very boring and get some Christmas presents hopefully done so we will check back in with you guys in a little bit do you have anything to add yeah that's, he's he's in book world here <laughs> So this is my last clip of this vlog because I just got home and it is now about 8.30 and I think I'm pretty much done reading for tonight. I think me and Trevor are just going to binge on some of our TV shows, but I wanted to update you guys. So I, this week, I'm trying to remember all, everything that I've done this week. So I believe that I finished The Raven Boys? Question mark? I'm not, I'm not real sure if I finished it this month or this week or if I finished it last week. But I'm done with the Raven Boys. I have also listened to roughly like 200 pages today in City of Ashes. So City of Ashes is finished. I gave this one a four out of five stars. This one is like still good, but I still hate the whole forbidden love trope so that's why it gets docked but I really like the characters I really like the way that they've integrated the world or Cassie has in integrated the world in here and the characters are very well rounded and I like that there is flaws and things in in each character like it, they feel very real so I, I do did really like this and I'm excited to get on to the story because I feel like that it's finally going to start picking up excuse you okay what Get it out of your mouth. I don't know what... How, no. I don't even know where you found my piece of plastic. Sorry. Cats. <laughs> okay, so. Finished City of Ashes. I have progressed in Half-Blood Prince. I'm not sure where I was when I started this week. I really need to write these things down. But I'm in the middle of Half-Blood Prince, so we are still going to be listening to this one. And now I have started Mark of Athena. I have listened to 169 pages of Mark of Athena from today. So 
I need to finish this in two days, so maybe? <laughs> because that's when my audiobook expires. But I do have tomorrow off, and I am listening to it at 1.5 speed. So hopefully this I will fly through this. Wish me luck, guys. I also, as you guys have seen, you probably I probably put it in a clip of my Powell's trip today, which is like one of my favorite bookstores, and I did get some books. So if you want to see what my what books I picked up at Powell's and another book haul that I have, a mini book haul, I thought it's a little too small to just have a dedicated video for it. So I'm going to put it in my weekly reading blog next week. So stay tuned for next week for my uh, book haul for that. And next week is also my night circus. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be picking up Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is also our book club pick of the month and so if you guys haven't already heard we were doing our Muggle Studies book club on the Night Circus. We also have a good reads group. I highly recommend checking it out. So even if you can't attend our live show uh, we can talk about the book together in the Goodreads group. So I will be starting this one next week or ne yeah this the next week for you guys, but tomorrow for me. And I'm really excited to get into this one. So that is all for this weekly reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know down below if you're going to come join us for the live show or just read The Night Circus with us. Because I would love to have you all be included. So I will talk to you guys down in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!